What are you doing here? Huh? Well, that's what I... That's what I do. That's what I go. What time is it? Uh... You should be at work. You wasted the whole day of that radiation treatment. No, nonsense. It was an honor and a privilege to be there for you. Actually, it was a pain in the ass. <laughs> but for you, anything. You didn't have to stay. Who else is going to take care of you? You hungry? No. Thirsty? No. Sure, it was Hannah. Don seemed to think he was. That's great. The case is solved. so much for being there for me. I'll talk to you soon, okay? away. I do? Yes, you do. That's what's bothering you. Hannah O'Connor, this is Landview PD. Open up. What's going on? No answer. I asked around. Nobody's seen her all day. All right. Well, let's find her. We don't want any kind of incident here at the school. Didn't she try to kill herself a few months back? Yeah. Uh, Manning's lawyer brought that up at the hearing. Said she's unstable, that she's the one that pushed Marty down the stairs. And now Ford's saying she attacked him. Yeah. All right, we need to get her picked up before she hurts herself or anyone else. I had to come find you. You ran out of the bail hearing so fast, uh, we didn't get a chance to finish our conversation. Well, I needed to get to the star. I still do. Maybe she's with her new boyfriend. What are you talking about? I'm so sorry, Cole. Oh my god, why didn't I think of this before? Think of what? I know exactly how to help you get me back to Cole and Hope. It's so obvious. Okay, so what's a great plan? Okay, you need $50,000 so that you can pay back your dad, right? Yeah, right. I can just give you the money. together. God, you've been acting weird for weeks. I knew something was going on. I just didn't think it was this. Danny, you know how much I love your mother, and you know that I would do almost anything to get you to stop this uh, and have you come home with me, and I'd like to have you both home with me, of course. Listen. But your mom's right. This isn't what I think I'd believe anything you'd say. Tell her. It's true. 
Ani. You're right. Todd and I are back together. I guess I'm a little distracted. Brody was just here. Well, that sounds promising. Yeah. Um, actually, he's uh, helping John arrest that girl, Hannah O'Connor. The one that accused Todd of pushing Marty down the stairs? Why? Uh, because Ford named her as his attacker. Really? <sighs> Why would she do that? Um, I'm not sure. Probably because he was really bad to her a while back and she always held a grudge. God, he really is a sleaze. Yeah. Well, maybe this will teach him to quit using people. I'm just glad that Ford remembered who it was. <sighs> you know, you, you actually seemed a little relieved, like like you thought maybe it was someone else. All right, we need to get in that room, see if we can find something that'll tell us where she went. I'll go to security, get a key. Thanks. McBain. Hey, I found something. Kelly. Yeah, uh, you know that vase my mother gave me? Uh, well, it broke, but you'll never guess what I found hidden inside the vase. A slip of paper with the name Bennett Thompson on it. Does that name mean anything to you? No, not to me, but it obviously meant something to my mother. It had to be the reason why she insisted that I get that face. I, mean, I think she was trying to tell me something. Why didn't she just call? I don't know. I think she was scared or she ran out of time or the phones were tapped. I don't know, but I think Bennett Thompson killed her. Okay, I'll call in the name, see what comes up in the system. Where's the vase? It's here, at my office, what's left of it. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll send forensics over and I'm pick up the pieces of the vase and the piece of paper. Are you there right now? Yeah. Are you coming? I will, but not right now. We're in the middle of a search for a dangerous suspect. Where'd you get this? I took it a week or so ago. In the park. A week ago? I tried to tell you sooner. In court, remember? But you ran off to find Star. Who is he? Do you know him? No. But I think his name is James. And why would you think that he was involved with Star? Well, I, I don't know. It's just how it seemed. I mean, they were at the park together, and every time he said something, Star's face lit up. They looked so comfortable together. And Hope seemed to know him. Hope was there? And what were you doing there? I was just passing by. With the camera? With my phone, which is how I took the picture. Why? Why would you take a picture of Star? You have 50 grand. No, my dad does. He's rich, really rich. 50 grand is like no big deal to him. And all you have to do is call him up and ask? What are you, some kind of spoiled little rich girl? Okay, I don't think the best choice for you to make right now is to insult me. Tell the truth. Uh, I am telling her the truth. Your father and I, uh, he, he's been very supportive. He's been very, very caring, and we've gotten close. Oh, obviously. It's, it's, it's not what you think. We're not sleeping together. Oh, yet. And you? Your mother's sex life is none of your business. Do you understand me? Todd. Listen, that's true. You're a child. You're gonna take your parenting advice from him? He killed Dr. Saybrook's baby. Oh. <sighs> you know I didn't push anybody. And why should I believe you? I, I believe him. Star believes him. No, you want to believe him. Yeah. And you just don't, right? No. Oh. Don't you think it'd be easier, Danielle, if you just stopped considering me the big bad wolf? No, but you are the big bad wolf. You're worse, and that you can't see that? You better go home. No. You know what? I'm so tired of, of her pulling the strings, pulling your strings. It's not good for it's not good for you. And she needs to control her anger. I see. You know, I'm mad. What are you smiling at? I'm really mad at you. You gotta tell her the truth. I will. When? I just need more time. You don't have much more time. Of 
course I'm relieved. I'm happy that it wasn't Langston or Marco that did it. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Those two have been through enough. Well, have you talked to them? No, but your paper made it very clear that Langston cheated on Marco. That was all taught. Okay. Langston just must feel terrible for what she's done. Got a master key from the security office. They're sending out a campus alert. If any security officer sees Hannah, they'll radio in. What about her student ID? Well, if it's swiped, it'll trigger an alert and pinpoint her location. All right. Hannah O'Connor? See if you can find any sort of uh, diary or calendar or something. I'll tell us where she went. Yeah, it'd probably be on her computer. She'd sync it from her phone. John. What do you got? Star was right. Hannah's obsessed with coal. <sighs> you know, Marty said something about the girls like this pinballing from one obsession to another. So she avoids her feelings about Ford by getting hung up on coal. What if he rejects her like Ford did? Well, I think we need to find coal. I did this for you. I know how much you miss Hope, and with Star not coming to visit you, how else are you supposed to get pictures of your daughter? So I just thought that I'd take a few shots when I saw them. Without asking to Star? I'm not exactly her favorite person. And then I saw that she was there with some guy, and she seemed really happy about it. I, I don't know. It just seemed wrong, Cole. And she was telling him about her problems, and... So now you're eavesdropping. I have a life. I, I wasn't following her there. I just thought that I would take a couple of shots when I saw them. I mean, that's when I heard them talking. Is that hope? We'll be right back. Screwing this up for me now, John McBain. Not when I'm so close. Now all I have to do is get Cole to believe that Star dumped him. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. It's just really hard for me to believe that someone my age can score that much cash. It's hard for me to believe that someone can score that much cash and then hide it under a rock. You know, you're brutal. <sighs> I guess it's just part of my charm. All right, so you really think your dad will give you the money? If I'm desperate enough, yeah. No questions? Well, that's the problem. You see, my dad is going to want to know why I need the money. But then he'll end up sending his goons after your goons, and it'll just be a mess. Well, then you can't tell him. No. We can get the money. I didn't say that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. No, you're right. I don't have much more time. Every moment is precious. That's why I just... I just want to see her happy a little while longer, you know? See the smile on her I face. Understand. It's just that... You can't wait too much longer because the more you wait, the angry she's going to get. I know. I know. And she's going to need time to adjust, and I want to help her through that if she'll let me. Would you like me to tell her? No. God, no. <sighs> Let her be angry with me. She's angry enough with you as it is, and, you know, she's going to need you when I'm, when I'm gone. Oh, man. You know what? I can stand about a minute and a half of that kind of talk. It drives me crazy. Here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to get that miracle. Just in case you want me to tell her, huh? Yeah. I'm glad you're her father. Now get out of here. Okay. You call me if you need me, all right? We go for breakfast. You.
finally gone. Come here, you. Sit down. I have something I have to tell you. All right, you know what? If, if you come across the name, will you give me a call? All right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Uh-oh. Is that that disgusting vase of your mother's? I mean, sorry, the beautiful vase of your mother's. Yes. And look what I found. What's Bennett Thompson? I don't know, but it obviously meant something to my mother because I found it inside her vase, which is why I'm sure she insisted that I have the vase. I think she was trying to tell me something. Did Bennett Thompson what? Murdered her. Fantastic. Let's find him and make sure he fries. Please sit down. Well, I have something to tell you, too. But you first. No, no, no. You, you, it's okay, you first. What's going on? Matthew and I broke up. Actually, I broke up with him. Oh, you liked him? I do. But as a friend, not, you know. No. But I think I really hurt his feelings. Honey, I know it's hard being as gorgeous as you are. Mom! Well, think about it. It'd be a lot worse if... You weren't beautiful, and guys weren't falling all over themselves for you. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll be serious. I know how important Matthew is to you, and that's why I'm glad you were honest with him. The worst thing would be to lead him on, especially if there's someone else. That guy I saw you with at graduation. Nate? We're just friends. Mm-hmm. Okay, I like him, but I don't know if anything's gonna, like, happen. He was cold in the play, and we had a lot of scenes together. We just kind of connected, you know? He lives alone with his mom, too. Only they don't have much money, and their house is about to be taken away. And then Nate found... He found a job, and he earned some money. He gave it all to her so that the bank wouldn't take their house. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> I know, it's like he saved the day. <gasps> He really loves his mom. Made me think about, you know, everything you've done for me. Coming here and making sure I'm set up with school. Leaving Todd so we could be together. Mom, I'm sorry I've been such a bitch. No. Yes, I have. I've been horrible to you, and you don't deserve it. You're just trying to make a life for us, and I'm really sorry that I've been so impossible. I don't know what I'd do without you. Come here. Okay, but you got home okay. Good. Listen, Marty, just watch your back, all right? And I left a message for Cole, and Brody went over to his apartment to look to look for him. Um, listen, I'm going to call you as soon as I hear from him, okay? Yeah, I'll call you back. I shouldn't have showed you the picture of Star and James. I just thought you deserved to know the okay, truth. Okay, okay, so she was talking to some guy. Maybe he was asking her for directions or something. It could be anything. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. Only... Only what? That's not the last time I saw them together. You have some other way to get 50 grand? I might. What, rich uncle? No, my dad bought me a new car for graduation. Your dad bought you a $50,000 car for graduating high school? You already have a car. But it's a lemon, and my dad didn't think that it was worth fixing. Yeah, well, the last present I got from my old man was a carton of cigarettes. I don't even smoke. Poor you. Do you want my car? Mm -hmm. 
Why are you doing this for me? I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this for me so I can go home to my boyfriend and my daughter and get you out of my life. I can't, I, I just, I feel bad for Langston, you know? I mean, I'm sure she couldn't have meant to hurt Margo. No, no, of course not. Sometimes things just happen. Yeah, yeah, they, they do. <laughs> what is wrong with us? Why are we sitting here thinking of terrible things? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. We should be focusing on the good stuff, right? Yeah. Like you being back with John and me being back with Brody. Yeah. Good point. I think we finally deserve a little bit of happiness in our lives. I don't want to lie to John and Jess, but the thought of telling them we got drunk and slept together? Yeah. Well, we both know it didn't mean anything. Maybe it's better not to tell them anything. Are you going to be okay with this? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure that it's the right thing to do. It. Okay, so we're, we're agreed. This is uh, between us. It'll be our secret. Yeah, yeah. We do. See if you can lift that blood stain. Test against a sample of Robert Ford's blood. You got it. I'll do a sweep of the whole room. Thanks. Hey, you find coal? No. John, the place has been trashed. The front door's hanging off the hinges, and there's no sign of Star and Hope. I got the place sealed off. I posted a guard and put a call in forensics. They're going to send a team. All right. Good. Good. All right. We, we know Hope is not at Marty's. I just spoke to her. She could be at Dorian's. You want me to call? No, because if the kid's not there. Not the kind of news you want to give over the phone. No. We better get over there. See if you can put a rush on that sweater. What'd you find? I'll let you know on the way. You saw Star with this guy someplace else. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? But I tried. More than once. But you wouldn't hear it. I mean, you were so convinced that Todd was right. That I pushed your mom down the stairs. Cole. I swear. I never touched her. And I tried to tell you that at your hearing, but you ran off after Star. At her graduation. That's where I saw them. So you went to her graduation? I followed you to the school because I wanted to tell you about James. And I saw him in the parking lot with her. They were leaving together. Okay, why would she leave her own graduation with some guy that she barely knows? Why do you think... So what are you going to tell your dad when he asks what happened to your car? I'll tell him the truth. By then it'll be over and he'll be happy that I'm home and safe. You're lucky. I mean, he sounds like a good guy. <laughs> that depends on who you talk to. My dad's a work in progress. What about Cole? What are you going to tell him? I'll tell him the truth because we don't lie to each other. So what about all that stuff that you were telling him on the phone about needing to run away? Do you want the car or not? I searched the web for Bennett Thompson. I think I must have gotten a thousand hits. I've got about a hundred more on my face alone. Called the sanitarium. They really couldn't help me out. John McBain was too busy to help me out, that's for sure. And hello, Earth to Todd. When I say John McBain, you say bastard. Okay. Okay. Now I'm really worried about you. What's up? Nothing. I'm fine. No, you're not. You're all over the place. First of all, you, you, you pull me aside at the graduation. You asked me to cover for you, and you won't tell me why. Now you're walking around like your best friend just died. Don't say that. What? What is going on with you? So what did you want to tell me? It's about him, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> him being your father? Um, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Look, I know, I know it's hard for you to understand, and I understand that he's not perfect, but... Todd has never intentionally hurt anyone he cares about. But everyone else is fair game. 
Marty and her baby. Do you respect your sister? Yeah. Well, she doesn't think he pushed Marty down the stairs. When Nate and I were working on the play, we talked a lot about acting and building a character. Nate wants to be an actor, so he knows a lot about that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyways, he said that you have to find your character's strengths and weaknesses. And that everyone has both. Even your dad. Maybe. What's going on with you? You're restless, you're moody, you're distracted. You're acting like your dog just died. Listen, I don't know why you keep mentioning death. Why did it, I never said anyone was going to die. Todd, you can talk to me. That's what I'm here for. No, you're here to do what I tell you. I'm telling you to keep your nose out of my business. Is it the kids? No, it's not the kids. Is it Blair? Is she sick? She's very sick. How sick is she? She's dying. Okay, I know that I am not Blair's favorite person, but uh, if something is wrong, I'd like... She's fine. Okay, you know what? If, if you're not going to tell me that, I'm going to go ahead and figure no, out No, you're is. not. You're not. You stay out of it. That's an order. Okay, stay out of what? I just need more time. You don't have much more time. I have a right to know. What was that? Well, you kissed me. Are you crazy? I mean, if we're going to work together... You have to respect my boundaries. You what just... boundaries? You have no think boundaries. That Brit you've been dragging around all over the place. Would really appreciate you making out with your boss. That is over, so, and I, I am not making it with so my you're boss. you're moving on with me, is that it? You grabbed me! Well, you weren't kissing me back just now? I, do, I hope not! Well, I hope it doesn't happen again because. You know what? If it does, I am gonna break both your kneecaps. And if I see you first. Like you actually might be willing to think about giving Todd a chance. Maybe. You two getting to know each other would mean a lot to me. I know, it's just, I don't want to get your hopes up. I'm never going to feel about him the way, the way Star does or the way you do. And I don't want to. He's a dangerous guy, Mom. Ask anybody. And then if you do let him in, he's got this, this way of... Making you forgive him all the time, even when he doesn't deserve it. So you're worried that if you do get to know him, you might be willing to forgive him if he does something that's screwed up? I wouldn't worry about that. You're a pretty tough cookie. I can't see anyone pulling the wool over your eyes. I just don't want to always be disappointed. And that's what he does, Mom. He disappoints you and Star all the time. And then sometimes... Me away. Well, I guess if you really have to be in love with him, then I can put up with it. And don't cry or anything, <laughs> it's not some big deal. I'm just okay. gonna ignore him, okay? Okay. Okay. So, when are we gonna have Nate over for dinner? What? Never. <laughs> if you're gonna be seeing him, your father and I would like to get to no, know him. No, no, that is so not happening. I said all of that stuff to protect Cole. Just because you dragged me into this doesn't mean that Cole and Hope have to be a part of it, too. Of course not. And after this is all over and done with tomorrow, I'll tell him it was all my fault. It is all your fault. I know. God, I just want to go home. And you will. But until we can get to your car, we've got to stay out of sight. So we have to stay here tonight? Right so. I'll sleep on the couch in case Bull comes. I thought you said that he didn't follow us. He didn't. He's really good at what he does. But you're probably right. You know, I mean, this place is way out of the way. Right. Star, I promise you, this time tomorrow, you'll have your life back. When I talk to her, she says she just needs some time to, to think. But, you, but you're saying... She's with James. She wouldn't lie to me. And she wouldn't leave Hope here. I mean, there, there has to be something else. Okay. Why, why don't you just call her? 
And ask. She lost her phone. Well, you said she just called you, right? I mean, was it on the house phone? Unless they've disabled it, you could just star six nine. This is James. Leave a message. And I'll get back to you. Hey, what is it? She called me from his phone. I got his voicemail. This is James. I'm so sorry. Uh, hey, was that help? When? Um, well, when you were on the phone, I thought I heard her on the monitor. Star and James could have gone. Now let's go. enough as it is. I wouldn't even be able to eat. <laughs> it's not funny. No, no. Of course it's not funny. I'm sorry. He's just really cool, you know, and I'm this mess. You are not a mess. Um, he's the first boy that I've ever really liked. And I don't want to screw anything up, you know, like put pressure on him and make him feel like I like him more than he likes me. What if Todd scares him off? Or what if he just doesn't know how to tell me that he's not that into me and then I'm forcing him into the dinner? Okay, honey, honey. We don't have to have dinner, okay? You sure? Positive. <sighs> okay. Anyways, you want to tell me something? Just that I am so proud of you. You have made friends. You've done really well in school. You had fun doing the musical. Now you're taking a risk with this boy. Sounds like you dealt with Matthew pretty well. I am so proud of you. And I love you so much. I love you too, Mom. Guess who that is? <sighs> hey! Shoes on the bed! Yeah. Hello? How are you? Um, I'm okay. Did you tell her? Um... Not yet, but I'm getting there. Hey, Todd, thanks for calling. So, what do you say? Wanna head home? Uh, yeah, I have to read three two stories tonight. Oh. Well, maybe Brody can help. I'm sure he and John have arrested Hannah by now. Uh, probably. But it's, you know, still early. For those people who don't have a long-standing date with the three little pigs, you and John should go out and celebrate. Yeah, well... He's probably going to want to get some takeout and reread his arrest reports. Sounds like fun. Actually, it, it is. You know, it must be nice. Not to have a care in the world. <laughs> yeah, right. Not a care. Cool. You here? Anything upstairs? No, but he was obviously here. His car's still out front. I 
hearing noises. Can I stay down here with you? Sure. Yeah. You take the cash now. Uh, okay. You're worried that Bill's gonna find us, aren't you? I promise I'm gonna let anything happen to you. I'll take that as a yes.